Hello everybody, my name is Chris and this is my channel Barnon 11970 and I have a very important video that hopefully will help you to think in a more positive light and to do what I like to call understand a little bit more about yourself and why things happen the way they do. And like it says in the title of this video, why are people always so negative or hurtful towards you? One thing I've noticed in my life and I'm sure many others that are sympathetic and full of empathy and caring is it seems like the more we try and help others the more we try and show positive energy and caring natures towards people it doesn't happen all the time but we seem to attract very negative people and I myself have been one of those people over the years that always tried to figure out why and I think at this point I've reached a solution and hopefully it can help you because I see it all the time from people that even with loved ones get such hurtful and negative things sent back to them when they only try and help people. It's the whole drowning in good intention kind of situation. But I want you to think of it this way. Believe it or not, nothing comes to us energetically that we didn't attract to us. And a lot of times what we attract may not be exactly what we want in the grand scheme of uh, initially the situation happening. But if we can learn from it and improve our lives from it, then even if it comes to you in a negative fashion that we don't like, you cannot see it as a bad thing because if it helps us move that much closer up the spiritual level, then it happened for a reason. And this world is all about trying to get you to think that it's up to everyone else to take care of your life, to, to understand you, tell you how to live, to tell you what you're doing right or wrong, and it has to come from yourself. So I want you to think about the negative people or hurtful people in your life and the purpose behind them. A lot of times when people cannot grow spiritually, it's when something negative approaches them, they tend to just continually ask, well, why is this happening? Or they get depressed, or they start beating themselves up. And they don't actually learn, why did I attract this energy towards me? What can I learn from it? So I want you to think of it in this perspective. And people always seem to appreciate when I put things in proper perspective, because it gets you to look at it from a different way. And if that can help you, I'm happy to do it. If you are a manufacturer of a bulletproof vest or bulletproof glass, how do you know if it works? Well, you have to test it. So to test if glass is bulletproof and the vest is bulletproof, you have to shoot at it. So the very thing that those items are made to prevent, you have to attract to it at first because you have to make sure it works. Because you cannot just say, I have a bulletproof glass, and you've never tested it. Because then you don't know if it works. So a lot of times, and I, this is one of the things I've realized, and like I always say, you need real eyes to realize, is when negative people would always come my way from me trying to hurt people, I always thought I had to save them or try and convince them or had to confront them. And sometimes, earlier on, I had to feel like I had to combat them. But it kept happening, and I kept asking why and never really learned the situation. Well, for me to say I'm strong is one thing. For me to say I'm positive is one thing. For me to think that I am a strong, caring, loving person who has grown to a different level is a wonderful thing for me to convince myself of. But you don't know if you truly are those things until you're tested. So for you to actually be strong, it's not to repel negativity from you. It's to draw it to you so you can show the universe that you truly are strong and you truly are looking at things in a different perspective because it's like somebody that is a smoker that wants to quit if you really want to quit 
the last thing you want to do is say, all right, I'm not going to go to bars anymore because when I go to bars, people smoke. And if the smoking is all around me, I'm going to feel weak and I'm going to get a cigarette. Well, did you really get over smoking cigarettes then? The idea is not to run away or hide from the problem. It's to have it right there in front of you and you being strong enough to say no. So why are people so negative and hurtful to you? Well, maybe you've been trying to convince the world or maybe even trying to convince yourself how strong you are. Well, the only way to find out how strong you are is to have things that will approach you to, to see if you will become weak or you are truly as strong as you are. So you're actually pulling that energy towards yourself to really see if you're full of you-know-what or not. Because anybody can say they're strong. Anyone can say they're caring. Anybody can say, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Well, the only way to find out if names will not hurt you is by everybody calling you under every name under the sun. And if it doesn't hurt you, well, then guess what? Action spoke louder than words. But if all those names start coming towards you and you crawl up into a bowl and start crying or want to put a gun to your head and end your life, well... Were you as strong as you were trying to convince even yourself? So, always understand that you are an energetic being. And your emotions, your feelings, your heart is what draws energy towards you. Not your brain. Not what you hope, think, pray for. It's what you feel. So you're going to actually test yourself, even if at subconscious levels. So if you are trying to convince yourself of how strong you are or how spiritually lifted you've been, well, the only way to test how spiritually uplifted you are is to have the worst things come along and see, do you continually become negative and lower your vibration to match that level or do you rise above it? So you're testing yourself on a subconscious level to see if you truly are what you claim to be. And if it keeps coming to you, that means maybe you're not at the level you think you are. Because trust me, in my six or seven years on YouTube, actually seven or eight years at this point, I dealt with haters in so many different ways. At one point back in like 2012, I wanted to fight one of them. Then I started defending myself and thinking I have to try and convert them to the good side. Now, I still get haters, not as many. Just the other day on my other channel, there was a video of somebody that said very nasty things for me. Somebody that I've never done anything to. But it doesn't really bother me anymore. I actually feel sorry for that person because they're living their life with such anger and hatred in their eyes and in their heart. I actually feel sorry for those people now, but it doesn't affect me anymore. So that's why the hate is not coming so strong anymore, because I've truly lost the fear. I went from convincing myself that I was okay and I was strong to knowing I am. And that's why I said, and I said it in my last video, know thyself. So be careful what you wish for, you might get it. If you truly are trying to convince the world or trying to convince yourself that you're strong, you're going to be tested. Your energy is going to pull in everything that's going to contradict what you claim to see if you really are what you say you are. Because if you say you've risen above and you lower yourself to the level of lower vibrational negative energy, then you're kidding yourself. Once you truly are past it and you truly have acted upon what you say and what you claim, then those things have no need to show up anymore. So the ironic part is, if you ignore it or you don't see the purpose of what happens, it'll keep coming back and sometimes worse and worse. It's like being in a relationship where one person says, I'm going to stay with this person no matter what they do. And it gets worse and worse. And they keep convincing themselves, well, I'm going to deal with it. I committed myself. I made my promise. I'm going to stick with this. And then one day it becomes so abusive or so bad, they have no choice but to leave. If they would have listened to their instincts and trusted themselves and faced what it is that was approaching them earlier, 
they would have probably not had to deal with all the negativity and pain that may come from that. But again, everything happens for a reason. You draw in energy, even energy you don't want, because if it teaches you to become a better person or grow to that next level, then it served the purpose that you may not see. That's why saying to lose the fear is one thing, and you can say you're not afraid. Well, guess what? If you say you're not afraid, something very scary is going to come your way to see if you really are what you claim to be. And one of two things will be happening at that point. You'll be really scared, or you won't. If you're really scared, then guess what? You have not become what you claim to be, and you're just making a statement. But if something scary happens and you rise above it and you show that you truly are not living in fear, well, there's no need for those scary situations to keep coming back because you've proven yourself by your actions. So if you are one of those people that wants to be empath empathetic, empathetic and caring and loving and saying you want to raise your vibration and you want to get out of this so-called matrix... You have to lift up your spirit, but you can't just say it. You can't convince yourself. It's like being in love. You either are in love or you're not. If you convince yourself in lo you're in love or you just say to somebody you love them, even though you don't show them that you love them, then it's just words. So if the world is being negative or hurtful to you, it's because you drew that energy in and you have to figure out, you know, are you bulletproof? You're only going to know if shots are fired. If the glass doesn't break or the vest stops the bullet, then you are bulletproof. If it doesn't, then what good was it calling it bulletproof? So hopefully that puts things in different perspectives. And I know people appreciate what I do because I read it in the comments. So if you do, I would love to read your comments. I actually really love knowing that I have helped see somebody see something in a different way in a different perspective, to think in a way they may not have seen before. I wouldn't have been able to do that 10 years ago, maybe not even 5 years ago. Heck, maybe even a year ago I couldn't have done it. All things have to progress at certain levels that you're ready for. Too much happens at, the, at, the, at one time, you won't be able to handle it. So put it in the comment section what you think about this. Share these videos if you appreciate them. Help me to get this out there because we all know with 42,000 subscribers, probably three to 500 are actually going to see this because of YouTube not wanting things like this to ever see the light of day. Why? Because it actually expands your mind. It makes you more positive, makes you more independent, makes you lose the fear. You lose the fear, they cannot control you. And you wonder why videos like mine can't be seen, but you can see thousands upon thousands of kitty cat videos. So I need your help. So thanks for listening. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the share. Thanks for the subscription. And thanks for your comment. And hopefully this has helped you. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.